John Gonzalez, who's back in the neighborhood that we saw yesterday. A lot of damage hit that area. John, what are you seeing today? Yeah, the most powerful of the twisters was here in Montgomery County, Robert, and we are back in this neighborhood where this house was split in two. Gaithersburg police still have roads blocked off here, and take a look at the size of the logs here on this cherry picker, and the exposed roof of the home is now covered with blue tarps. Seven houses here in Gaithersburg have been condemned. Now, the National Weather Service sent out four different survey teams to investigate storm damage in nine counties across West Virginia, Maryland and Virginia. And this morning they have determined seven tornadoes barreled through the region on Wednesday between Leesburg and Baltimore here locally. The estimated peak wind here in Montgomery County reached 105 miles per hour. That is why there is so much damage this morning. The cleanup will resume. Officials here tell us the emergency alerting systems used here in Montgomery County saved lives lives. There were more than 10 tornado warning alerts sent on Wednesday by the National Weather Service as the storm system moved west to east across the county. Thank God for a warning system, you know, because it didn't look that bad before it got bad. And then it was by then it would have been too late. Came outside to close up the barn door because stuff started flying through my house a little bit and I was like, oh, it's pretty windy. I'm gonna go check outside, close it. Saw some trees falling out of the sky, <laughs> a little bit of a, I didn't see like the full tornado come down, but saw enough. And uh, usually the case with these fluid situations, 24 hours ago, Montgomery County officials were confident two tornadoes came through the county, but now according to the National Weather Service, it was that one, the most severe twister of the day on Wednesday, rated an EF1 that traveled 12 miles from Poolsville through Gaithersburg in a span of about half an hour. Reporting live in Gaithersburg, John Gonzalez, 7 News.